Hey guys, it's Katie. So it's been a while since I've uploaded a video, but I have done some shopping lately, uh, mostly at Sephora. And then if I have some time at the end of this video, I'll do some clothes as well. I did some spring shopping, hoping that spring will be here soon. Um, but you can wear spring makeup without the spring weather and all of these companies have been coming out with a lot of new products for spring so I had to hop on that bandwagon and get some things so let's just go ahead and get started um I don't know about you guys but I still love watching hauls I've heard some people say that they're kind of over them I love them there's also <laughs> there's always a special place in my heart for a haul YouTube video so um I hope you guys like this one but I got some skincare stuff some makeup stuff. There's no rhyme or reason to the order that I'm going to start talking about all of this, so I will just go ahead and get started. The first thing is this right here. I have already started using this, but I like to put things back in the box because then it, then it makes me feel like I'm doing a real haul. Uh, this is the Kate Somerville. Um, it's inspired by their Eradicate, which is very popular for um, a zapping zits, and it's just a foaming cleanser made for getting rid of acne and I had some um, acne show up after I started using another brand's um, skincare line so I went for this and I'm really really happy with it so far it's got this like nice pink color just like their Eradicate uh, and yeah I've just been popping some of it on my what is that thing called Clarisonic and washing my face with that at night and so far I really enjoy it uh, I got sucked in because the reviews on the Sephora website for this are like really really good so if you're having some problems with pimples then I would recommend this already and the next thing this is a repurchase for me I got this at Bloomingdale's actually not Sephora but this is the Chanel Soleil bronze or universal bronze um, even like I can smell the like Chanel scent even through this little lid thing right here it just smells so good and this is just like the perfect bronzer it's definitely a warm bronzer it's not meant for contouring it's meant to warm up the face but I'm almost out of my other one and I needed a another one so I decided to pick this up this is just like the best with a big fluffy brush and just like kind of sweeping it all on like the high points of your face wherever you would naturally get bronzed. This is probably one of my favorites ever. So highly recommend this. I'm just gonna put things back in the boxes because then it makes me feel like they're new. Okay, so this is from Sephora. This is a Marc Jacobs mascara. I was kind of in the market for a new mascara and I thought that I would try this one. This is the Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir mascara and I actually really like this it is the mascara that I'm using right now I don't know if you can really tell because I'm not super up close and personal with you guys but um, it kind of comes in this like fun little octagonal shape and it reminds me a lot of the brush that the uh, Too Faced Better, Better Than Sex mascara comes with but I find this one to be maybe a little bit skinnier um, because I don't have quite as much problems with getting mascara on my eyelid when using this one versus is the Too Faced Better Than Sex one. That one has such a fat brush that I do find that it can get messy. Um, when I first used this for the first couple days, I wasn't really the biggest fan uh, simply because I felt like it was too uh, liquidy. Um, but after about a week, it did dry up a little bit and that made it so much easier to work with. It wasn't quite as clumpy. Uh, I will say though that this is not waterproof. <laughs> um, so keep that in mind. It does tend to um, smudge easily or more easy than other mascaras so I don't use it on my lower lash line I always use my MAC Giga Black mascara on the lower lash line no matter what because that one never smudges or anything like that but this for the top lashes is amazing if you want something to give you really nice volume I promise I'm not going to give you a review on every single product I have here but for the ones that I've actually used I'll give you little tidbits about it Okay, um, the next thing is actually, this was sent to me from um, BoxBox or Influencer. Um, let me grab the other part. So, uh, I get things from them every now and then. Um, they have sent me some, um, I hope you can't hear the vacuum going right now. We got a new vacuum and Ricky is like obsessed with vacuuming all the time. I'm not complaining, but now is not the time. So anyways, Influencer, they send me some things from time to time. Um, anyone can sign up for it. So if you want to sign up for it, 
They just will send you things based on your like Instagram following and YouTube following and all that kind of stuff. Um, and then they'll ask you like, you know, in order to get more boxes, then you just have to post about it on social media. But this one, I'm like shocked and so thankful for. Uh, this is by, I think you say Ola Hendrickson. And I've tried his skincare before and I really, really do like his stuff. He has a really good um, brightening serum, like a vitamin C serum that I've used before. And um, so this, I don't think that it's released yet, but it's uh, the... Oh gosh, I'm spilling things everywhere. It's basically the balance line and it's these three products here. Let me get rid of the box. It's these three products here. I posted about them on Instagram. So it comes with a cleanser, uh, a toner, and then a moisturizer. But these are supposed to be great for balancing oil. Um, Hello, that is me. I have super oily skin and we're about to come up to the season where it just gets like really oily. So I was excited and I have tried a couple of these. Um, I've tried all of them actually for the last couple nights and I so far really like them. Um, I know you can't really tell like with skincare it takes a while but the scent is really nice as strange as that sounds. It's very herbally like it kind of smells like a spa. Um, in a, in a, I don't know, it's not like eucalyptus, I don't know, there's something about this that reminds me of the spa. So, uh, the cleanser has, it's a green fusion complex, neem seed oil, glycolic and lactic acids green fusion complex, and that's it. So, so far, I really like it. The toner is really nice too. Um, I washed my face with my Clarisonic and then went in with this with a toner and was still able to get some dirt on the cotton ball. So that's always kind of like oddly satisfying because you're like, yes, I'm getting all of the dirt off my face. And then I went in with this moisturizer and it's really lightweight. So I totally could use it under makeup and I'd be totally fine. Um, so, so far I'm super pumped about this. So thank you to Influencer for sending me this because I have oily skin. And this could really help me out. Okay, the next thing is, ha! So I didn't order this for the pre-launch, uh, only because I kind of told myself I wasn't going to buy any more YouTube collaboration makeup company things anymore. Uh, but nonetheless, I really do like Nicole. I think she's super cool, and she doesn't try too hard. <laughs> and... It just seems like when she's on camera, she's just being her. So I do appreciate that. She doesn't put on a show for the camera. I like that. So, um, and plus, like, the makeup looked really, really nice. My sister actually bought this, and she, of course, texted me and was like, you have to get it. And so I went into Sephora uh, today, actually, and picked it up. And once I swatched it, I was like, okay. Because online I was thinking like the colors would be way too dark for me um, because they look very pinky and then these ones obviously down here look very bronze. So um, I was kind of turned off by that at first, but once you swatch them, they are really nice. Also, when you look at them in the pan, they look very glittery, but on the face, they don't, like, whoa. <laughs> they don't look glittery at all. It just gives, they're very intense though. It does give your face a very like wet look. So if I look wet, or oily right now um, well I might be a little bit oily but if I look wet it's because of this highlighter um, right now I'm wearing forever young on my cheekbones and it is it's really really nice guys although it looks glittery in the pan it is not glittery on the face um, I for one usually like a more subtle highlight like I like the hourglass uh, incandescent light I like um, I like the Laura Mercier one, although that one's not subtle. That one's very finely milled, so it doesn't accentuate pores. This one will accentuate pores and textures a little bit, so you really have to put it on and then really blend it out, so that way you don't have that, like, super emphasized pore texture area right on your cheekbone. So um, I would really suggest washing your face and exfoliating before you go in with this palette, but nonetheless, so far, it is really pretty. Sorry, my camera battery died, so I just had to charge it for a few minutes, so hopefully we can get through the rest of this without any more problems. If you've been following me on Snapchat for the day, you know it's been kind of a nightmare to try to film today. Um, but anyways, I do really like this so far. Again, it is what I'm wearing on my face right now, so if I look super metallic-y, 
highlighted right now. Thank you, Nicole. Ooh, this was kind of fun. Okay, so I went to, when I went to go get that um, highlighting palette from ABH and Nicole, I saw this, and I just thought it was super fun. It's the new Marc Jacobs uh, Highliner Matte Gel Eye Crayons. Um, I have a couple of these, and this color just stood out to me. This is in the color Deja Blue. <laughs> Mark, you're so funny. Um, and so this is the color right here. I just thought it would be really brightening, uh, but instead of using like a nude eyeliner in my waterline, using something like this could be super fun for the spring and summertime. So uh, I am excited to test this one out in the waterline, see how it goes. And I ordered this a couple days ago. Uh, this is the Cover FX Illuminating Setting Spray. And you would think that like I would be a no-go on an illuminating setting spray because as you can see I'm already very shiny however when I was on the Sephora website and I was looking at the reviews of this all the people who were giving it positive reviews were saying that they had oily skin they were saying oh I have oily skin and I still really like this um, it makes you look glowy but it really holds your makeup and holds the oil back from producing on your face like they were saying some pretty amazing things about this and so I was like, click, add to cart. Um, and the packaging is really pretty too. It's got this kind of like holographic little white look to it. Um, and I'll spray it right now. So you guys, I don't know if you'll be able to tell a difference, but now I'm going to look really wet. So the, <laughs> the mist on here is super fine. Like I, like, can you see that? Super, super fine. Way more fine than my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Like, you feel like you have to pump, like, 10 pumps on your face because your face doesn't feel wet like it does with other setting sprays. So, um, I don't know about this so far. This is really, like, the first time that I've really used it. So, I will keep you posted on this. But, um, I really like all of Cover FX's, uh, face products. They really do a good job with face stuff. Um, well, I'll... Okay, I have read and watched so many negative reviews of this, but I wanted to try it anyways. Uh, this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Stick Foundation. Now, I didn't get the foundation color. I got the color fawn to contour with. I wanted something that was going to be easy to contour with and then just kind of blend out instead of doing a powder contour. Lately, I've really been liking cream products, um, as you can see from, you know, me repurchasing the Chanel bronzer um, and and I've really been liking some of my older Makeup Forever HD blushes, which are cream products. They just blend so nicely onto the skin. It just looks so natural. Um, and you don't have to deal with like that powderiness that some powders can give you. So I wanted to try this out. I did try it today. Um, I didn't really go like super intense with a contour. Uh, but a lot of people said that these were really hard to blend out. I didn't have a problem blending out this one for a contour. So I will keep you posted on that. Another thing that I purchased was this Kat Von D eye brightener. My sister also, she's like the person who will text me and say, you need this. And then I just immediately like, yes, I need this. I will listen to whatever you say. Like whatever she says, I'm like, okay, I must need it. But this is the Kat Von D eye brightener. It's the brightening powder. I got it in the color Petal. And, um, oh boy. Okay, so there's a lot in here in the, um, in the top part but uh, I will put a little bit on my hand and I'm going to use this obviously as an under eye brightener um, but I don't know that was like the most awkward swatch ever I don't know can you see it right here I don't know if you'll actually be able to see it but um, it is super brightening I did put it under my under eyes today what else do I got ah I bought the Tarte shape tape I mean finally and I have to say though, I really like it, but, but, where is it? I put it back in the box, but I've been using it a lot. This NARS concealer, I might like a teeny tiny bit more. It is what I'm wearing on my under eyes today. If you want like a full coverage matte, like almost like flawless doll like under eye, this is what you need. 
this is what you need. And I just, it comes in a pot, and usually I would think like, okay, a pot concealer is not going to be good for the under eyes, it's going to be way too drying, but as long as I use an under eye moisturizer under my eyes first and then go in with this, then it just looks so good. Like, okay, I'm scared to zoom you in because it has been like eight hours since I put this on, but... I'm like glowing to the gods right now, but my under eye area still looks pretty matte. But this concealer is just like, yes, it's so good, you guys. If you want to highlight with it, if you want to just cover dark circles underneath your eyes, this is so good. I am in the color Light 2 Vanilla. So good. What is this? Ah! Okay, so I bought this. Man! Okay, so I bought this a while ago, and again, put it back in the box because you gotta pretend like it's new. It is a haul. These lip glosses are so good. I am in, I got the color, I'm in the color, I got the color Forbidden, which is like that pinky nude color. They feel so nice. The applicator is like a um, slanted applicator, and it fits on the lips really, really nice. They're glossy like super high gloss but they're not um like super sticky or thick i they last a pretty long time i just love this color this color is just really 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 nice um i'm kind of obsessed with it and if you like right i don't know like i swear glossy lips are gonna come back mark my words glossy lips are making a comeback I'm telling you they just look so healthy and fresh and glowy and youthful um, I just love a glossy lip and this if you just put this on it will top over lipsticks and it doesn't break up but you can also put it on just with this and it will give you just a hint of color Ugh, so good bare minerals whatever their new glosses are they came out with like a nude range of um, like liquid lipsticks and lip glosses, but this in the color Forbidden, like you need this. You need this in your life, for sure. Oh, I got another one of those uh, Marc Jacobs matte gel liners. This one is in the color, what are you? Earthquake. And so this is just a matte deep brown color. I'll definitely be using this to like line my lash line um, maybe even tight line with it I really love the I, I love that it's brown so it's not so intense um, like black is but it's still dark enough to have that dramatic effect if that makes sense okay I have such a mess over here you guys should see this it's like atrocious now when uh, Sephora did like a pre-sale of a bunch of highlighters, um, the Nicole Guerrero palette was one of them. I didn't purchase the Nicole Guerrero palette then, but I did purchase a couple other highlighters, three to be exact, one of them being this. So this is the Marc Jacobs Do You Do Drops, D-E-W. Another Marc. Marc is just so funny. The packaging, I mean like, to die. It looks like Tom Ford packaging, actually, like his summer collection, but beautiful packaging. I read somewhere that Marc Jacobs doesn't like, um, like, harsh edges, so, like, that's why all of his things are, like, rounded. Fun fact of the day. Um, so this is a liquid highlighter. Oh, my God, it's so effing pretty. I can't even. So I don't know how I'm going to use this because, um, like, ugh. It's so pretty, you guys. Like, as you can see, a little goes a long way, but it is just, like, when, and it smells like coconuts. It just smells like summertime. It makes me want to just, like, fast forward a couple months and just get to the summertime and just, like, pour this all over my body. I could see me using this, um, mixing it with my foundation to have, like, a very glowy face or, um, like, putting it on my decollete to make it really shiny and beautiful. Um, I could see using it as a regular highlighter highlighter over like a CC cream or something like that. Um, liquid highlighters sometimes scare me a little bit because it can disrupt the foundation on your face. But I have high hopes for that. I've only like swatched it like on my hands a 
half a dozen times just to like look at it but it's so finely milled you guys don't even understand when I say finely milled I mean like there is no speck of glitter in that highlighter whatsoever so if you like liquid highlighters and you don't want anything with glitter in it I would highly recommend checking that out again I haven't tried it on my face but just like testing it over my hand it's so finely milled like I'm looking at it and I'm like there is no glitter in here it's just shine it's so beautiful okay so uh i think the last thing that i have for you guys are another set of highlighters like i said i ordered these three during the pre-sale and so i have the cover fx uh one in what is this blossom and then the other one in halo i was stocking these forever on instagram before they actually released these got leaked well you know how social media is like they get leaked like yeah right pretty sure that they just like throw pictures out here and there just to grab people's attention so that way it really hypes it up for when it actually is released that's just my little conspiracy theory but um nonetheless i was stocking these forever and just waiting for them to be released because i liked the other ones so much so um i have them right here so the first one is um uh, blossom which is this one right here and then this is halo And on that swatch, uh, Blossom, this one has dried down a little bit, so it's a little bit more mild, whereas um, Halo was just recently added to my hand. So that Halo color is not something that I would usually go for. You guys know I like my like very neutral makeup looks, but I'm kind of excited just to try that one out, just to have some fun with it. Uh, I think that that and then topped with the white Nicole Guerrero palette uh, highlighter would be really pretty because that white color in her palette has a little bit of a bluish purple tint to it. So I think it would be really pretty together. But um, nonetheless, I bought a lot of stuff and I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. Hopefully it wasn't too, too long. I think I'm going to do the clothes and some of the other more recent purchases that I've made in a separate video. So I will go ahead and film that one right now. I'm going to be wearing the same thing, so I apologize for that. Um, but if you have any questions, please leave them in the uh, comment section below. I will leave all my social media stuff down there as well if you are interested in following me there. Hopefully I will see you guys again soon. Bye.